Technically, I'm a little early, I think, for our um, enshrouded stuff. What time is it? Yeah, it's like 11.20 central. We usually don't start for another hour. So I'm a little early, but I was wrapping up stuff. So um, I know that I was told that the trees that Maduro's planted, because we're on a 24-7 server, the trees that were saplings last time we played, I think have sprouted into a forest. <coughs> Excuse me, around the house. Oh my god. They totally have. That is amazing. So these were all... Sa if you watch the end of our last multiplayer session, these were all tiny little saplings. I can't even jump through them because of the colliders. Did you see that? That's hilarious. These trees are massive. Well, cool. We could totally... And we now have plenty of wood for the next stage. Definitely some... Um, there's LOD. You could definitely see the LOD stuff happening there. With the shaders and shadows and everything. Yeah, that's... They've definitely got some more performance work to do. But... It's a very well done forest overall. I mean, we just started off as saplings and now we have a bunch of giant trees. Where is the... I want to see what it looks like from up top. Put some new doors on, it looks like. Who's crying? that Smeagol? You probably hear your mommy outside, don't you? So this is what they look like from up top. Nice big forest around her. But we got one nice viewpoint out over here. Matter of fact, hang on. What's going on? What's going on? Are you coming over here to say hi because you want to go outside? All right. Yes, you need to go out. Is that what you're saying? It's because you hear mommy working outside. He wants to go outside with mommy. All right, I'll be right back, everybody. Smeagol went outside with his mommy. Which means the only one I have left is Pippin. She's sleeping. Alright. I think one of these days, whenever I upgrade my gear, I'm gonna... I'll get a different... Because I have the problem that I have right now is I have two of the same webcams. I want to have a cat cam to show up somewhere on my screen. But I can't do it with my existing cam unless I do a workaround. Because... Streamlabs won't register both of the same exact type of webcams on Streamlabs. You have to pick one or the other. But I would love to be able to show, like, whichever cat is sleeping in the chair beside me. That'd be a cool thing to show on stream one of these days. Anyway, we have a um, nice direction here. You know what, though? I wonder where... Because I had started to build a cliff dwelling. Ah, oh, here it is. It's right through the woods. Okay. So one of the things I could probably do if I wanted to would be to make a path. Man, look at that. Look at the colliders. Ha <laughs> ha! They're like, no, you're not allowed to go through there. Um, how would that work? I don't. I haven't looked at. Um, I wanted to just skim the top layer off. Ah! Fell down. So out of curiosity. 
curiosity. If I wanted to do this, I just want to remove the dirt. So that goes a little too deep though and I still have to take care of the tree so I would still need to remove this particular tree to make a path like that so then I could I could essentially carve out a path but I would need to do because right now it's taking out everything and I think I would need to come back in with just dirt let me, let me continue doing this a little bit and see what I can get. Now, if I wanted to, I could come back in here and say... It's putting grass, though, and I, I, I want just dirt. I don't know how to do just dirt, because it's doing dirt with grass on top. Do you see what I mean? Like, if I wanted to make a dirt path through here, I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. Alright, well, that's not a big deal. I would have to figure out how to make that work. What I could do That's a little abrupt. Um, we're gonna rotate. There we go. I would probably need to build fencing or something to, to like guide a path here because I just don't know how to make a dirt path. I would probably just need to look that up. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. No! How do I undo? <laughs> no! I hit the wrong one again. It's RB. Uh, RB. That's what I was looking for. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to look up how to make dirt pathing because I know in like Minecraft you can take um, You can take like what is it a hoe and scrape the grass off the top and then you're only left with the dirt I think that's how it works. My nephew knows more than I do. He told me one time and I may have not listened All right, now, if I'm not mistaken, there's a ton of new quests on. It looks like uh, Lysander and Maduros are already on. I'll need to go get the voice chat here in a minute. What quests do we have? Beware of the hollow. This is the new content. The alchemist tasked you to enter the hollow halls. This is the new, these are the new dungeons. Beware of the hollow inside. The thieves conspired to claim part of the flame or were cursed by the ancients as punishment. To never feel the warmth of another... I almost pity them. Oh, so that's a new quest. Cool. Watch out for splinter. Good luck. Here's another one for the hollow halls. This is the new content that got added to the patch. There's an even better glider now. Holy shit. So not only is there was because we have I have the advanced glider, but now there's also an extraordinary glider which requires an alchemical base and two leather. Oh. 
No, you're the farmer. Where's the alchemist? Stay focused. Alchemical base? I haven't even seen that. I bet Kel will know more because he's done. Unless we have a quest where we're supposed to go get something, which I don't know. Stay focused. I'll go back and check that enhanced glider again. Yeah, alchemical, alchemical base. Never even seen that. Oh, we can do large backpacks now, too. Yeah, like, I don't even know how we make, like, leather leather now. Have to sort that out. All right, I got to sort my inventory, and then uh, let me get invoice chat with everybody. Good morning. Morning. Got a nice bit of shade here. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, they've adjusted some of the controller commands, too. I'm going to have to get used to that. Oh, I see what it did also stacked it okay yeah there's way more um, options now to move things around with the patch I do have some indigo in here I could barely hear you. I'm not sure which mic it's registering for you, Lysander, but I could barely hear you for some reason. Oh, yeah, it sounds way different. Like, you're super faint. Like, you're on the desktop mic, or on the, um, like a normal mic, not a in your face mic. Yeah, you're st I can hear you, but it's really, really faint. Remember, I was having trouble the other days. That sounds better. And how about now? It's a little better. Which one do you think? This one or the one before it? Uh, hey. go to the one before. Because <laughs> I could actually hear you a second ago. Testing, testing. I think that's still the same. I hate the way that steam patches. How so? I don't know. It keeps on pausing. Oh. Uh, the download. That's weird. So the 6.6 .6 gigabyte patch is taking me like 20 D minutes. Days, yeah. I 
have a feeling when we were on vacation, there was a LAN party here and someone used my computer. Could be. Never know. I don't mind. I mean, I love those kids, but everything, all my settings are, they seem different. And my microphone's been giving me nothing but problems. Also, there are hell divers screenshots on my e drive. So, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely, somebody. definitely using your computer. Right <laughs> somebody <laughs> definitely had some fun. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how they did it because, like, I mean, they could have logged into their own Steam, but they still would have had to download it unless they undownloaded it after they got finished with the week. Well, these trees are given resin at least. Nice. Yeah, it looks awesome. It's just when I tried to run the first day I logged on and I couldn't get through the trees, I was like, is this even the right base? So I haven't played in since before the patch, and I, th I think these are new, but I could be wrong because I don't know. If, um, the um, there's now an exceptional glider available, and a large backpack also available, and they use this. These are ingredients that I haven't seen before: leather and alchemical base. I haven't seen any of those, so I'm assuming we have, we have to quest for those. We also have the, if you didn't get the quest, you should have the quest um, for the hollow halls for that first dungeon. What did you get the quest from? Uh, one of the NPCs here. Yeah, I think the first one's in the first area. Explore so it'll be... Yeah, it'll be low level. I'm gonna I think send like the... level ten. Did you guys see the ping? Because oh, we can Emily. ping. Emily, Emily gives the quest. Yeah. We can ping the map now, so you guys should be seeing a ping on the map. The craft yep. Each time. That's so cool. Ha ha ha! Good job, Keen. Yeah, they've done a really good job with this. I'm super excited for them. Especially since I'd never heard of them before I started playing this game. Daytime is here. Um, I need to cook these. So is exploring the hollow halls first in our agenda? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. All right, that's what I want to hear. Let me finish cooking here and I should be ready. I'm making sure that I'm, my inventory is clear and I've got plenty of supplies before we head out. Oh, I forgot to store these sparks.
All right, I think I'm ready to go. I have another minute before I can get in. Oh yeah, forgot you're still patching. My bad. I should have done it this morning. Yeah, I, I, I set mine at like six, and then I went back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I just the, the cats have been waking me up at like two thirty in the morning, so I just usually end up working from like two to six, and then I go back to bed until. Depends when I go down, but I usually sleep for another couple hours. So I had it patching while I was napping. That's all right. My brother um, came home Sunday night expecting to play Sea of Thieves, and he had a, it just his Xbox bugged out. So he started the patch. It failed like six times. So he restarted his Xbox, and when he restarted the Xbox, it said that the game was no longer installed. And it was in his library, but not installed. And, and he's like, well, okay. So he went and got his disc, put the disc in, and it started reinstalling the game from scratch. And it was like a 90 gigabyte download file. And he was so pissed because <laughs> obviously we didn't play Sunday night. He's like, this is bullshit. <laughs> Some sort of weird update fail that nuked his uh, installation. So there was no, there was no Sea of Thieves on Sunday night. There was a grumpy brother and a sister-in-law going, Damn it! We need to stay up late next time because we need to just finish this. So we've only got like two sessions and I think we're completely done with our CFDs adventures. You're still doing the story content, right? Yeah, the Tall Tales stuff. So it's just the PvE stories. Um, yeah. And we've, we've only got like, a, it's probably two sessions at most to wrap up the... Um, the Legend of Monkey Island series, and after we're done with that, we're pretty much done with everything, unless we wanted to jump into the, the current like seasonal content, and I don't think anybody wants to do that. So I think, I think my sister in law is going to take a break, and then I think my brother and I are going to go play um, Halo Infinite probably, because he hasn't played that yet, or Diablo. He's he's debating Diablo Four because it just came to Game Pass yesterday or day before. Oh, is it there now? Yeah. Cool. I can try it. <laughs> It's a fun single-player campaign. I'm not saying it isn't, or I just missed out on that whole bit. Like, for whatever reason, I wasn't really paying attention when you did it. I don't know, but was I following you yet, or was it right? Uh, I like I was it was following you for a year before Baldur's Gate, so I would have had to have been. Yeah, it just it was because it was what I was playing right before Baldur's Gate three. Yeah. Anyway, for whatever reason, I missed it, and then I saw it was coming to Game Pass. I'm like, well, I'm not paying money for it. I could get it on Game Pass. Oh, I am missing a torch. I for did some try reason. it once on that three day weekend that they did like a free trial of it, I think. S several months ago now. Before we started playing Warcraft, I think. Made a necromancer and got about 20 minutes into it and realized I was. Way too medicated for all of that thinking. <laughs> what are we made out of arrows? I mean, I guess we kind of are with all these trees, but. Yeah, might I say that you just look fantastic. Love this, everything about this whole outfit you got going on here. Thank you. I suck at vegetables. Well, you nail it here, sir. I'm launching right now.
while we're waiting, Ren, have you messed with the uh, music creation tools for Wondershare Filmora that they have in there now? No, why? Just curious. I was watching a, a video the other day, uh, and somebody was talking about how good the tools were. So I well, the tools playing. are very good, but what I've found, I've found, I've tried to use their music. They've got music snippets in there that are supposed to be okay to use on like YouTube and, and other places. That's why, you know, that's, it's not, it's not the reason I pay for their subscription because I like it as a video editing tool, but it's supposed to be something where that music is cleared. And, and three, I've had three times where my content has gotten flagged by the YouTube algorithm as being someone else's like copyrighted music that the algorithm is picking up as a claimed piece of music, which then makes it a kind of a pain in the butt because they have to like try to either mute it or strip it out from the video using YouTube's tools. And it's just not made it, it's made it to where I don't want to deal with the headache because it's just, you know, if they say that a piece of music is good to go, then all of the music should be good to go. And yet not all of it yeah. is. So rather than try to play that game of, of shooting in the dark, I've just avoided using their, their little music snippets for, for anything to be honest with you okay yeah that's why i'm asking because i got flagged the other day for um my own song uh, in the conan trailer for the fatalities video um it got flagged as copywritten right that's just the system technically doing its job right it, except it's mine right right well that's the frustration that's what i'm getting at like it says that it's supposed to work but the problem is that it doesn't always work and I know yeah. that it's just the algorithm making a mistake, but the manual process to clear the mistake is a big enough pain in my ass that I've just said, you know what, fuck it, I won't use their, <laughs> I won't use their music stuff. Um, so it sounds to me like you'll probably come into the same issue um, since you had you had the own song. It doesn't exist. It's not like a prolific issue. Like I've uploaded five thousand videos on my channel, and it's and well, a lot of those weren't with Fillmore though. I've been using Fillmore nonstop for two and a half years though, so it's. In two and a half years, you know, and it was in the first six months when I was first using Fillmore, I got flagged like three times, and I was like, I'm not going to use this anymore. Yeah. And I it always makes some loops and stuff, which I yes. guess is what I'll resort to. But if you're running into problems with using the Fillmore tool and still getting the same issue, I'd just rather avoid it and make like loops. I just have to dig out a bunch of crap that I'm not currently playing around with. Yeah. Can I tell you a secret? <laughs> I'm live. I probably shouldn't tell this secret. Um, what I have often found is, I, I could probably tell you. I'll tell you more off the air. But what I can say is that some certain certain projects have made their music open source and available to everyone, free to use. And I have found that more often than not, if I'm ever in doubt, I will go to one of those places, download a couple of tracks. And when you have, because you're only needing it for background stuff, and you can do masking and other stuff. Um, and it, it does, it's like, it would be, an example I would give is that, say, or you can use an old game like Vanguard Saga of Heroes has been out. It's a dead game. No one, no one owns it. But the soundtrack is amazing. And that never gets flagged by the system because it's a dead game and no one cares about the copyright. That one I can gotcha. say. So I've found that to be a suitable way of doing things is going, finding like, old soundtracks to like dead games and then you can pull that music out and rework it and i know that that's technically probably you know it, it it's as long as you're you know you're making everybody aware that that's the music being used um it's dead no one's using it yeah well not only that but it's fundamentally transformative in the best possible yes. ways that are in line with the idea of the public square and all of that crap so i yeah i don't have a problem with it but god knows youtube who knows you know, they might so. i think most of the issues come from the fact that a lot of it's automated i don't think regular humans would go you know hey you're using the fundamental or that the filmora tool let's uh flag that because it sounds a lot like somebody else's filmora video where they use the tool you know but the algorithm doesn't have that kind of discernment so out of sheer curiosity, my, my I'm watching my character now. He's like spazzing out on my screen. I don't know if anybody else is having that. I'm looking in this direction, and my character is literally still. like, "What's that?" You're perfectly still on my screen. No, on mine he's like pulsing and like it's like flickering, like the main character's flickering, like. Pulsing.
pulsing. It doesn't like do shadows. it when I... Yeah, it, I see it. Now I'm looking at your screen, but on like in-game, that isn't happening. Yeah, it's like the camera is like twitch, 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 twitch to one side or the other. That's really that's really interesting. I wonder if it has something to do with the controller. It might. I don't know why this is taking so long to launch, but should be short here. Should be short leave. Mine did take a. Are you are you on the screen where it's trying to load preload the assets on the bottom right? Yeah. That's where mine was this morning too. I just went and ended up going to the bathroom, and it, I I came back like 15 minutes later and it was done. So I honestly don't know how long it took. But that's the part that was taking a while for me was the preloading of the assets for some reason. Anybody else figure out how to preload certain ammo? Like if you were running two stabs or two bows and have one type of ammo on one and one type of ammo on the other? I have no idea. Better to be the hammer. So some lock picks too. So this literally counts as on the road as we run around this outside path around the yeah. house. That's cool. Just put in a patio. That's right. He'll just blow it up later with some explosives. I mean, it's done. <laughs> little wanton destruction. Never hurt anyone. I heard it. I heard an explosion somewhere. That's having malfunctions. That's a cool little crater. Oh, the grass reel grew really fast on it. That was awesome.
There's Kel. Woot! It's our favorite merchant warrior. <laughs> Anyone need any fine baked goods? <laughs> well, hello there. I'm, I'm never not going to see Obi-Wan Kenobi when I look at your character. Hello there. Hello there. We were brothers. You look like you're in that Obi-Wan phase where you're working that one shitty job in the mining facility, like right at the beginning of his own uh, series. You know, that, that phase. Uh, cleaner, you know, but definitely that phase. For some reason, this uh, baker lady won't give me the quest she has above her head. How dare she? That bitch. She's fired. <laughs> oh, I missed this in a survival game. Like six or seven people just prepping and getting ready to go explore something new and kick some ass. So I think you watched yesterday's video because uh, I, I I was pinging in and out the Dune Awakening video. Um, oh yeah, I was the, a little late coming to it, but I it was like a forty minute long. That was the that was the one I actually had to nuke the troll guy out of the comments because he was being super annoying. Um, yeah. But uh, or no, that was the other. Never mind, that was a different video. No, that not, was the one. Not, that, I was gonna say not as bad as the guy from the World of Warcraft. That was video the guy I knew. Was like, oh my god. I'm pretty sure that was the guy who we booted from the guild because. I think he's all butthurt still, and he was leaving comments, so I booted him. Anyway, um, th that Dune Awakening video, Joel retweeted my stuff this morning, so I was like, nice. oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started. I'm just a big Joel fanboy, I guess. I there, get there, it, but... No, I, I will say this. Um, I've, I've been hanging out a lot in their Discord the last, you know, especially like the last month since the Dune Direct. Their team is, like, all over it, and they've all read like the trilogy of books multiple times so anytime someone has a question there's like boom it's a book answer not a game development answer a book answer and so it's very refreshing to see that the whole team is deep into the books but also just the overall team has been super responsive about just like the daily interaction on discord i've never seen a game development like a triple a game developer do that never seen it like I just wish you would have been there at the start of some of their other games because they, they they've had issues in the past where they kind of run low on funds because mm -hmm. their their ambition and their originality is doesn't have the kind of mass appeal sometimes that I think they were hoping for and so they start to change things up and whatever but I remember reading in one article that was translated from like some European northern European language but he was talking about how he read like 15 Stephen King books just to get the dialogue right for a character in the secret world mm -hmm. that he based on old man King living in a, you know, lighthouse writing books. It was nuts. Those guys are crazy and brilliant. I do got to say guys, because I am running on an older machine. The performance update with this patch is noticeably better. It seems real smooth. It's well, it's a lot easier to tell from my perspective because I have a shitty old. Um, I'm running on a seven-year-old laptop. Yeah, my frames are consistent, not jumping around anywhere. Yeah, it's a pretty good optimization pass. It looks like there's occasional hiccups. Like I just came up the ladder, there was a hiccup right there as we face into this building. But other than that, the frames have been good. There's something in this building right here, though, right here, guys. Like, I'm at, when I turn and face this building, I'm, like, dipping down. It's yeah. got to be, like, teens. I think dip. it's, like, uh, yeah, I think it's, like, the fog effect. You may be right. Because even, it even does it on my machine, and I have gotcha. a 30, 3080 Ti and Core i9, so. Gotcha. So same, there's definitely still same, some same, same stats. What do you have for RAM in yours? Are you running 64 or 32? Uh, 64. Yeah, 
I'm disappointed you didn't say 128. Oh, man. Soon. Soon. <laughs> Soon, PM. It's a little excessive to run 64 for video games, but you know what? <laughs> Ram was cheap that week. A flame sanctum here. I'll take that. Quest I think too, because I have a sleeping bag, so. My dearest Helen. So, where is the next? Anyone else see this purple question mark over these two uh, I skeletons? do, but that's it. Yeah. Offer its spark at the flame altar in your home. That's what it says. Huh. Did somebody get a spark in their inventory? I did not. I did not either. Um, I got one, but it just says spark. It doesn't say anything special about it, so I don't know if it's... I'll check it when we get back, because it says at your home. It's a puzzle. Well, the destination we're going for says above. went in Rome, huh? Well, I'm not getting up that way. I'm assuming you guys found a way down and around. I don't know, I just follow Maduro because he usually knows what he's doing. Looks like there might be a path over there. Also, creepy sounds down here. Oh, there's definitely a big pit beneath us. Right. You bastard, Doug. I found it first. Down to go up? Maybe. I sure as shit don't see anything up over this way. 
There's no ladders or anything. These are all level three that, weapons. Uh, got any of that heal crack? Uh... Is there a cave we missed or something? Oh, there's totally a path here. All right. We all got distracted by a hole. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Here uh, all week, folks. Try the veal. <laughs> this was a family stream. <laughs> I found the that entrance, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll wait here for you guys because uh, <clears throat> this place looks dangerous. Get my potions up and running. So I shouldn't need to put anything on. Are you just using spitting tobacco, Kel? Sorry? <laughs> totally look like your character hawked a wad, man. <laughs> like he just said spit coming out of his mouth for a moment or something. I don't know if it was like an effect from one of your whatever you were eating. Probably the water. It yeah. was looked like you were putting a big old wad of chewing tobacco in. <laughs> it's like minus Morgul here. Uh huh. Now I wonder if this is going to be a proper. Music got all creepy. There's a note right ahead. They have all the legends after all. I wonder if the cursed inhabitants still walk this earthly plane. I would take that as a given. Oh, there's definitely denizens up ahead. Hello there. around my legs that was cool I just picked up a nice protection potion nice oh there's bad guys in here too <laughs> ice bolts skull summoning vessels ectoplasmon fragments Descend into the hollowed halls. fragment
book or something over here. Never mind, just a candle. <laughs> that was glowing orange. I was like, it's gotta be like a book or something. Oh, I bet this is a locked door. There's some sort of a crystal up there. Yep, that door's locked. Not for long. What did you guys do to open it? There's a thing up here. A thing up here. If you look up at me. There was a thing up here. That's, that yeah, thing, I touched he, it. he shot it. Oh, okay, so you like put that shard crystal into it or something? Oh, that, oh, Jesus, that was a whole group of skeletons that just went running by. They all went to the right. I wonder why. There's some doors here. Ouch. Healing spells in this sarcophagus. Okay, there's nothing else over here. Oh, there might be something back over here. FOMO Hall. There's some sort of... Oh, I wonder if it's that red marble. Uh -uh. It's nothing. Is there anything in this room? We were just in there. Oh, is this the one we were just in? I get turned around. So it summons a skull. Oh, that's cool as hell. <laughs> Do my bidding, the skull. Oh, that's cool. That is pretty cool. 
there's like an orb up here. Ooh, creepy. Is there as a repair equipment thing up here, guys? Like an anvil thingy. So does your skull like tell the future or does this work? I think it's just gonna follow me around and probably do DPS if I had to guess. Nice. I'll take it. I mean you can have it, but plenty useful. Some interesting looking weapons in there. All new models. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Where's the repair anvil? Oh, uh, back up top. There's a ramp. Uh oh. Oh, my whole game just like hiccuped. Oh, I see it. That was weird. Barrier unlocked. Where you want to go? hole in the ground. Woo! Do not fall. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I was gliding off into the distance. No, duck, no! <laughs> I thought you fell down. Fell down. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna be back. Grapple hooks on either side that go down. Oh, I see one of those um, barrier things to the right on the ledge. Up or down? One left and up. Oh, yep. Oh, there's three of them, actually, it looks like. Unless I'm looking at the wrong thing. Is this like an elevator duck, I think? I don't know. 
know. Let's find a red button and find out. There's a grapple hook point over here. Bone channel staff charges? Interesting. So where do you put those portal crystal thingies? That's what I'm confused about. You just pick them up. Right, but you don't actually put them anywhere? Or you said to pick them up? Uh, looking at the door, there's like hash marks telling you how many you need. Looks like we need two more. Oh, well, actually there's... Hang on, I'm gonna fly down here to get a better look. There's actually... Looks like there's four. Oh no, we need one more. Okay, so I see it. So it goes backwards. I thought we had to put him in something. Well, there was a grapple hook back the way we came at the very beginning. I wonder if there's one hidden down there. Because it was a grapple hook to go down. Oh, uh, yep, there is one down <laughs> here. Okay, yeah, I see it. That's how that works. Descend into the hollow holes. Oh no! I yeeted myself into the bad place. <laughs> how do I get Don't out do of that. here? Spike floors. Oh, we got tons of traps down this hallway. Oh yeah, I'm a necromancer now. Those little summon sculpting your mind are my buddies. <laughs> They're pretty cool, aren't they? It's like reviving me directly in the line of fire for that, so might as well just not do it until those get turned off. Oh, there's a big chest this way. Is that one of the legendary chests? Uh, it looks just like a uncommon coffin. Ah, uh, I think you're right. Oh no, mandible crusher, rare weapon, apprentice wand, mid-range, silver shot bow. Interesting.
There's a button down here. Well, the save point, I think, was right nearby. Yeah, I haven't found anything to turn off the trap yet. But I did find a button that I pushed. Yeah, I haven't found a button. Um, so you may just want to respawn and come through the electrical field because I, I haven't found anything to turn it off. Yeah, I respawn. Okay. Uh, whether I'll come to the electrical field or not is a whole nother question. So. That's what I call a cheater mechanic. I should respawn. I can beat Elden Ring, but I can't get through these electrical fields without getting killed. So. Clearly, it's cheating and not a player skill thing. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. <laughs> or I'm just terrible with these. As, as the kids keep telling me in my Dragon's Dogma 2 videos, get good, Grandpa. <laughs> get good, Grandpa. I love it. So many options here. I heard something creepy. Something creepy. Oh, something, something's behind that door that wants to eat us. Can't open the door yet, though. Oh, he can he can damage me though if you get too close. Oh, this isn't good. What's this creepy stuff down here? dead end on your guys' side? Yeah. I don't think there's a dead end over here, but there doesn't appear to be anything, though. <clears throat> so somehow we have to open this door. Oh! There's something pissed off there. Freaking wall hackers. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got multiple doors in here on either side. I 
can't open that door. Dog skeletons like to go for me just first. Oh, that's a lot. Oh yeah, I gotta. Oh my god, I can't. I can't move. Oh no! Oh no! I've been, I've been iced. I've been iced. <laughs> I'm coming to you guys. Here comes more. Where did, oh, to the right. I see it. Oh my god, that's a lot. Alright, shield wall. Which didn't do shit. They're all like, we don't care. I'm just getting absolutely wrecked by these guys. That guy is really hard to kill, whoever he is. Another one of those big dudes. No! <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing I've noticed since the patch, guys. I can't hold aggro anymore. Like, before the patch, all I had to do was stand there. And, and your guys' aggro would transfer to me, and that's no longer the case. By the way, it said door barrier unlocked, and I have no idea where. Here comes more. <laughs> from where? Uh, from the west. Oh, okay, yeah.
Oh, there's another one up here too. Uh, yeah, be careful about coming over there. I s there's a whole bunch more over to the left too. Yeah, look at this. He is like fixated on you guys. Now he's on. Woo! I think there's only one left and a doggy. So I'm assuming this was the door, this is the door that had the barrier. <laughs> but there was so that was a lot of mobs, man. I wonder what the scalability is like on that if you come in here and do this solo. Hollow Hall's block at workbench, we just unlocked. I don't know that this is even like solo content. Well, that's why I, I don't know. If it, if it even translates like is there a solo version of this is it just lesser mobs who mobs have less hit points like by the way I what did we just another guy do it the other day but he was like level 25 and he was doing this one so all right what did we just like, get a minute ago it, it had like a name something flashed across my screen i didn't get a chance to read it it was this dude something about this guy It says so summon your going on here. summon your new followers. What I'm being told in my journal. Hold on. You've discovered a new survivor in the hollow halls. Place them in your home with the summoning staff, and it looks like it is a skeleton NPC. So, from a technical standpoint, I think that's the that's the end of the quest. But there's a legendary chest right up ahead of us. Somebody's gonna get a bow, a staff, and a. I don't want to take them all. How do I take that melee? Because if it's one handed. Somehow I grabbed the staff and not the bow. Who wants the staff? This just put us out at the top, I guess. Nice. So from here to complete the quest, we just need to go back, that follower. back to the home base. Summoning staff. Ha! I have no idea where I put my summoning staff. Is it a literal skeleton? It is. You're putting him down in the dark depths of the basement poor guy oh he looks cool 
He looks badass. I am a fatty man, a keeper of souls. Oh, he's got multiple quests. Don't be scared. Let's Alden. Talk. That's the name I saw flash across my screen. Ah, come closer. Indulge me. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hmm. Huh? Ah. What does he craft? So, we have to make a bone key. I have 25 ectoplasm fragments. Anybody have any more? Because he needs 50 to make the bone key. Oh. I have 26 on me. Nice. Mm. So he summons those. He mm. makes those skulls summon things. Also, bone arrows, bone channel spells, ectoplasm gems, crypt tables, chairs. Let me check the quest here. I gave them all to you. Thank you. Craft a relic. So that's the first start of the next quest chain. An ectoplasm press for the collector. So we need to craft the key. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna make the key now. Okay. Beware of the darkness. Until your blood is frozen. That one is essentially, we have a home just to the east of that one. It's up by the Riverwood Fast Chiron. Alright, cool. I need to sort out my inventory. Oh, didn't... Was that the staff out of uh what was the staff out of that legendary chest? Sing sweetly a good day. Hey. We are stronger together. All right, be right back.
predictably enough, all of our other companions have concerns about our new friend. I'm a little perplexed. So I wonder if all the dungeons are called hollowed halls, and they just have varying level, varying um, like display types or skins. You know what I mean? Like, are the all the dungeons they just share the same name? It seems like it. It seems like that's where this world threw their underclass. So it's, we're going to be fighting a lot of the same kind of creatures, too, I would imagine. Well, because now what it's telling me, that first one was just the hollow halls, and now it says find the Revelwood hollow halls. So I'm yeah. guessing that's just... there's the next there's, level up. What's that? It's the, it's the next level up. Yeah, it's just the... the yeah, it's this is this hollowed halls, the next... So it's, it's based on the region, I guess, maybe, I should say. One hollowed hall per region or per biome. I don't know how they separate these things out on the map, if they're considered regions or biomes. That one was pretty hard that we just did. Like, that was... I, w I went through, like, eight healing potions, seven or eight bandages. Speaking of which, I need to make some more uh, healing pots. How do you make healing potions? Over at the Alchemist here. Oh, we need chamomile. We don't have any chamomile. That's not good. Do we have any in the field? Ta 
Time to plant some. I've never done any planting. I've noticed that the ringer opacity is now minus 40 mana instead of just 20. Might not be worth. It's not. They killed it. We had some chamomile. I don't think we have any chamomile in any of our. Oh, yeah, there is. Nope, that's or or Oriolan. I guess we're gonna have to go get some chamomile if we want to make more healing potions. Because there doesn't appear it's to be a any white flower. Yeah, there doesn't doesn't appear to be any in our. Um... There's some over here in this planter. Hang on, I'm coming back up. Because <clears throat> I was going to go harvest some to create it. Okay, I see. Never mind. It just doesn't count it when it's in here. There's some over here, too. Awesome. I, did, I didn't think to check the other planters, guys. I'm sorry. Thank you. God, the new... Shift things. All the new controls are weird. It's weird, I tell you, weird. All right, do you guys want to work on a different quest or do you want to go do the next, um, we've got so many quests here. Uh, the carpenter needs, the carpenter needs masonry tools. Uh, the collector needs an ectoplasm press. Oh, that was just a dungeon quest. Um, it's probably the masonry know. tools or the blacksmith's request. Go ahead. What? Before we go, uh, I made a little room here for our new little friend down in the basement. Mm. I just want to show you guys, just in case. I don't you trust you. You're gonna you blow want. me up if I go down there. <laughs> I'll let all you fools go down there. <laughs> all right, that's well. Suitably creepy. Creepy nice. green light in the skull walls. Still not stepping in, man. <laughs> it's booby trapped. All right, I'm looking at quests. Um, yeah, currently got the ectoplasm for the collector, but just tell me which one to click on. And well, I'm thinking we should probably do either the blacksmith's request or the masonry tools. Yeah, up. masonry tools will give us the ability to make uh, water wells. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, active quest, show on map. That's a gateway, it says here. Action, send ping. Closest we can get is we have a home up there. That's a gateway to the ashes of creation, man.
wonder if that flank sanctum's gonna have a spark. I'm gonna double check real quick. Yep. Two sparks. I gotta. I'm. Let me look at the map here. Um. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the way we need to go. That's it, right there. Gate to the Pillars of Creation. Oh, it's Shroud, baby. It's way in there. Okay. This place is massive. This is genuinely impressive. Like, this is really cool. Lore scroll over here. Thank you. <coughs> Built by the ancients in an earlier age. Completely unpassable lightning trap unless your name's not Lysander. <laughs> Hell no! You'd be able to glide through most of them. No, Cal! I don't know if it's. Yeah, I don't know if you can get close enough. That's what happened to me in the last oh! place. Oh! That hurt. Tickled, I mean, it tickled. I didn't feel anything. Didn't feel a thing. Shroud 
meteor shower. Those were better than the gloves I had. Nice. Okay. Are there any buttons anywhere that we need to be pressing? There's a legendary shield in this chest. Oh, alright. Uh, let me find where you're at. I could definitely use a new shield if it's better than what I got. Twelve block. Hey, it is better than the one I've got. Doesn't doesn't look very cool. Can you grab? Yeah, can you just grab it? I'm, I'm up from you. I found a door that we can't get past yet. It's probably a fast travel door. I guess I'm gonna move back down to you real quick. Uh. Is it still in the chest, or did you grab it? I grabbed it. Let me uh, right. send it over to you. Thank you. It's not like legendary or anything, but it might have a cool look that you can check out. It's definitely better than what I was wearing. Thank you. Nice. Location above. Has anybody found a way to get up yet? There's definitely something in this rubble here that I'm digging out. It's like a different room. Okay. Oh, I see there's a wall here. This lava thing, and it's just yeah. It's this is a genuinely impressive uh, layout. Oh, there's a button door up here, guys. Two button doors. Both of these require buttons to be pressed. Oh. How did you get up there? Uh. I don't know. Lots of different ways. <laughs> <laughs> I just jumped around. I really don't know. That one's already been pressed. Oh, somebody's pushed something because it opened both these doors. You have to hit it with an arrow. I don't have any ranged. Oh, there's a giant obelisk here. Location is still above us, though, it says.
Oh, and there's a cave over here. That's a big cave too, man. It's not leading in the right direction though. Oh, I think I see it. Okay, up coming back. Here. How did you guys get up there? There's a little path. Totally missed that. Nope, turn around. Other way. Oh, I see. something that was it yeah that was the masonry tools just need to place it so there's more stuff up here there's the cave down there there's this cave up here There's a treasure chest on that platform right there. This looks like a whole new biome. Do we, um, do we have the space to? Do we have the place to do a flame sanctum? The space, I meant. I don't know, but I think you're right. I think it's a whole new biome. This looks Let's like. Mesa. Oh, yeah, limestone. So I'm not getting normal stone, I'm getting limestone out of this. I was gonna harvest some stone to get some, uh, to make a flame sanctum. But I'm not getting normal stone. Oh, there's some bell peppers. Nice! Yeah, this is a whole new biome. Cool. Well, I wanted to place a, uh, Got bell peppers and sage. We can almost do spaghetti. And I'm I am now. I got stick Ewoks on steroids. Ah. See now the aggro is working like it's supposed to. That was weird. channels are working a lot better now too. Nice. I like their dream catcher with the fangs and everything sticking out of it, man. That's cool. Alright, is there no just like normal stone over here? Oh, but this is a harvestable plant. Plant fibers. Boo. Yay! Not normal stone. Work. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a flame thingy if we can. Yeah, there's another ancient fire in the distance. 
You see a spire? Look in the distance over here. Oh, way over to the northeast. Northeast. Yeah. Yeah, let me place some... Snow covered mountains behind it. I'm at least going to place one down where we're at real quick so that we have immediate tip because this is a new biome we can come harvest. Let's be sure. Not wanting to give me any. Fr oh, oh, here we go. And all right. Um, I'm gonna port back and place the tools since we can do that now. So I get that out of my inventory, and then I'll be back in a minute. What's up? I am no one. Oh crap, I went to the wrong. Oh no, I'm falling through the world. That was interesting. This was masonry. This was for the carpenter, wasn't it? Yeah. I want to place it close to him so that we have... We're running out of space. There we go. My pleasure. Watch out for splinters. With an almanac of plants and seedlings, we can grow fantastic new crops. So she's got a new quest for some more goodies. I'll be here. Flat oven bread. Mm. The craft Flat bread. Uh, oh, sorry. Water well is up at the base, up by right here, near the farming. We also got a quest to go get a tanning station to prepare to go prepare fur and leather. Oh, there's a whole bunch of quests that just opened up. A black cauldron for the alchemist. Back. This is all for the next tier. Of, okay, I see. Good to see. Sand, or are you using two-handed weapons? It was for a while as like my alternate, but now I'm just mostly on bow. Oh, that well is so cool. But I do have one equipped, so I can go last as far as like upgrades, but... Kind of squishy in this ranger armor is the problem. I just picked up a named uh, two-handed mace. Let me give it to you. Nice. Right, so let me check it out. Base damage is 57 with five or six upgrade possibility. So the blacksmith makes a rogue set of gear now. Which gives you backstabbing damage and opportunity. But it's... Got a really cool look, too. 
I'm wondering why it's the blacksmith and not the tanner or the, you know what I mean? Is that it? Oh, crap. It didn't sound good. Looks like there's a camp down below here. Arena. Yeah. Oh boy. There's one of those big VUCA brawlers down here. I'll be there in a second, guys. I got caught up with checking some stuff. Oh yeah, he's a big one. Where are you guys at? Well, I almost fell in that trap. These drums are great. Libra Jenkins. Oh, I love how I can just block him now with the shield. Oh, he doesn't even phase me. There we go. He finally phased me. <laughs> That's probably gonna hurt. Oh, Jasmine is a pot. That's a giant two-handed weapon on him. I'm assuming that's a two-handed weapon. Congrats to somebody. It's a one-hander. Oh, is it? I'll take it if it's a one-hander and you don't need it. I always need... One handers. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's definitely better than what I've got. I was gonna say, is that gonna replace your lightsaber? Yeah, it's gonna replace my lightsaber. Uh, the lightsaber is even max upgraded, and this thing is better out of the gate. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, did he just respawn? Well, I looted it and the body made a horrific nose noise like it was respawning. That was mildly terrifying. By the way, is that rooftop harvestable? Looks like some sort of cool material.
bad. That wasn't mud, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It's all over my boots. Ouch. What the world was that? There's torches lead through here. Is this the other end of that cave that you were coming down? Uh, I don't know. This is something different. I think. Maybe, I don't know. No, this is, yeah, this might have, this is something different though, because we were here earlier. This is the inner sanctum that we were coming up through earlier. It's just a different perspective. Yeah, because we, we clicked on this note earlier, so this is just a different way. What's close to here? There's a flame sanctum down there. There's a whole bunch of them. Okay. There's chasing around pheasants down here. Ooh, it has feathers and raw bird meat. Not deadly. Well, I know we came down from there, but I have no way idea how to get back up.
Okay, those skulls are highly effective. Yeah, the skulls bring the deeps. Yeah, they're pretty good, man. Somebody just fell. Never mind. There's like chickens running around here. Literally, there's chickens. Pheasants, whatever. I was trying to figure out how to get over to a flame symptom that I cannot figure out how to get to the life of me. I'm gonna have to head out guys lunch is ready and I gotta help Chris get caught up on some stuff now that she's back home in the office so I'll catch you guys tonight the raid good have a good rest of your Saturday stream wise I'm out um, there's more stuff coming out this afternoon, so follow along all the channel stuff. Uh, tomorrow we'll be streaming some more in Shrouded again, around the same time, around noon central uh, as the plan. We're doing these on Saturdays and Sundays. And eventually, we're going to play other games too that are co-op. Crafty Survival. Dude Awakening is the big one, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but uh, for now, we're heading out. We do have a raid tonight, World of Warcraft, at 8 Central. So um, I'm going to go hang out with Chris. We've got some chores to do now that she's home from her uh, city trip. Got to get caught up on things around the house. So I'll catch everybody live tomorrow. If you like what you saw, don't forget to follow along. If you're on Twitch, bits, cheers, and subs to support. If it's here on YouTube, super chats and memberships. And there was a member video that went out, I think, yesterday or the day before. I'll have another one coming soon. So stay tuned for that. In the